Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we are sewing from a pattern. All right, so Joanne's was having a sale online and I just was browsing. I wasn't even gonna buy anything. And then I bought some patterns and then they got lost in the mail. <laughs> and then Joanne's has hands down the best customer service I've ever dealt with ever. So shout out to you, Joanne's. Thank you so much for having great customer service. This is what we're doing today. We're sewing a jumper kind of thing. So I bought this pattern. It comes with, it gives you these three different designs. The back is pretty much the same for all of them except for this one. Today, I think we're gonna do either B or C, making this kind of like a double whammy video. We're sewing this from Thrifted Fabric. I found this wonderful thick, velvety striped like purple and green and dark material i found this at savers um like this much of it enough to make a really shitty cape for 2.99 so for three dollars we're gonna make a jumper today i already did the easy steps and i did already pick up some overall clasps these are overall buckles with no sew buttons so if you can kind of see in there, this, these jean buttons come with this little sharp thing in there. If you can see that. And then this stabs into there and you hit it with a hammer. And that's how your jeans buttons are there. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm so excited and also extremely nervous because I've never sewn from a pattern before. Actually, that's a lie. The last time I sewn from a pattern was in sixth grade home ec class, which I wouldn't really count that because <laughs> that was like, square patterns and circles to make pillows. Okay, so first things first is definitely gonna be figuring out your size because this pattern that I have is sizes four to 12. It's quite a range and you'll see because I already cut out the pattern pieces, so then that way you'll see like the different seam allowances for each one. So I'm just gonna measure myself and figure out what size I am. But in the pattern, it always includes different size charts to help you and then there's also this up here. All right, I just spent the past 20 minutes looking at uh, pattern reviews to see how the hell to size this for myself. I might just do a size eight just in case and then if anything I can just cut it a little smaller, take it in a little bit because I'd rather cut too big than too small. So we're gonna start with that and I guess we'll see where that takes us. Alrighty, so now we're gonna lay out our pattern pieces and hopefully start cutting. It's always important to remember which direction your fabric's going in. So mine has vertical lines and I want the lines to be vertical on me when I am vertical. So, so double check your lines, cut on the wrong side of the fabric so you can mark on the wrong side, but just be careful. Okay, so honestly, I really wish I put my pattern on the right side of the fabric because my lines did not match up at all. Only the first piece did, which is really embarrassing, but it's all good. No one really notices. Everyone mostly just notices like, how it looks. Also, that piece I just put down, I did not need to do that piece. That was my biggest mistake. Don't do that piece if you're doing the one I'm doing. You kind of have to play a little bit of Tetris when you do this. So on the pattern, it tells you where exactly to put the grain line. So this long one is the grain line. So you want to make sure that that's going to follow any texture on your pattern. So like, in my case, I have stripes. I double folded my fabric. So there'll be two pieces of this, two pieces of this, Two of this, I only want one of those, two of those, one of those, one of those, and I still have to fit that piece on there. So I wanna start cutting out some of my pieces by like claustrophobicing them over here and work like left to right to cut. So I'm gonna start with that first. One more quick thing, so on here shows you the different seam lines to use when you are doing the pattern. So like four, six, eight, 10, 12. So depending on what size you are will depend on what seam allowance you want. I'm keeping all the seam allowances just in case I ever wanna make this for someone who is not my size. So we've cut out every single piece of the pattern now. This is our fabric in the sunlight. It's not just black, <laughs> it's got stripes. We're gonna start sewing things together now. It'll be voiceover time, starting now because I'm losing light. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. The best footage of all, me, sewing and trying not to block the camera. Anyways, this is me sewing the front sides and then the back sides together before sewing their side seams together, if that makes sense, because it is only a half a piece. It does have a center seam going down the center of both the front and back. 
So that is what I'm doing here. Next, I am just doing the straps and sewing the side seams, and then I'm gonna inside them out with my loop turner, which is the best thing I ever got. Also, this is me just prepping the pockets and then trying to iron them down. They didn't really stay, so I had to put something heavy on them because I did do this over a few days. This was a very long project, I'm not going to lie. And I did do this to all three of the pockets, so they would match. And then continuing on, we are going to start sewing the top and side seams to close up the entire overall dress is what I'm gonna start calling it because I think it's also technically a jumper. But anyways, I do this a few times because it's kind of thick, so I did it twice because I didn't want it to be all like bumpy and loose. And then that is the front pocket and then the side pockets. I didn't end up sewing the side pockets on initially. Also, you can see my really huge mistake with the fabric in that shot. So I only did the front center pocket because I wanted to make sure this was gonna fit me because I sewed it on the largest seams just because I didn't wanna ruin my pattern. So here are the best shots I've ever taken of me sewing and trying to get this pocket nice and good on there so it won't fall off or ruin and it's actually practical because it's important it needs to be actually practical anyway enough of that i like how you can tell how many days this took because of how often my nail color changes anyways it's me sewing the back straps on and trying to adjust it the best i can because like i said i did do this on the largest seams and i need this to actually fit me I know it probably looks really crazy, but after you top stitch it and then add all of the other stuff, it looks fine. But here you can see how big it actually kind of is. So I did a lot of adjusting, like a lot, a lot of adjusting. A lot of ripping seams, trying on, and then just seeing how it works and whatnot in the overall like thing. Here I can see it's too big in some places. So then I go and start cutting, and then this is me adding. I forgot what they called this. I'm gonna find the word and put it on the screen, but that really made it look really, really good. And it, honestly, a lot of people think I bought it from a store because of this whole stitching situation that you sew around and then you inside it out and then top stitch it down. It just, it looks so good. It's kind of like the finishing touch, which you will see when it's on. It looks so much better. Here, I wish I did a roll tem instead of what I did because I was being lazy and I thought it would work and be fine, but no, this fabric frays like no other. And also, I did not hit these buttons hard enough, you guys. You gotta freaking hit these things. I had to have Merc do it because I couldn't. All right, you guys, this is it. This is it finished. Um, It is so freaking cute. The straps, I didn't completely sew down because I want to keep them adjustable. I need to get another piece. Um, I didn't realize that until after, but it's so cute. It's like the perfect length. It goes down pretty low. I just need to get the other two pockets added on now that I know the size, but essentially this would be it without the second pocket. So here's the first one. I am so happy with how this came out. So thank you guys so much for checking out my channel, checking me out, subscribing, and watching my video. And this was so easy, like you could do this with any fabric. You could use thick fabric. Someone I saw online use white denim and did it, and I think she has a video. And please editing Taylor, link it below. Don't forget, sometimes I forget. So if someone notices, call me out in the comments. Yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel, and I can't wait to see what we can make next from scratch. This was awesome. I'm so happy with how it came out. And I do have a pattern for some pants, so maybe when I get some good fabric for that, that's what we'll make next. But yeah, this is it. So thank you guys so much for watching my channel, and see you guys in the next one. Bye!